What's up everybody? This is Cray Spray and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do a, um, a patriotic uh, spray paint. Uh, it's going to have the Twin Towers with the Freedom Tower right next to it and uh, the Statue of Liberty with the American flag. So I figure it's pretty fitting for 4th of July weekend. Um, hey, I want to thank everybody for subscribing. It's been, uh, man, like a couple, I think it's been two weeks and I've gained like 130 subscribers. It's been crazy. Thank you so much. Uh, first off, what we're going to do is you're going to spray some uh, red in the corner. First red, then white, then red, then white. Uh, you want to get the colors for me anyways, you want to get the colors accurate. Um, it should go red, white, and blue going upwards towards the uh, blue and the stars. So just start out with red, then once again going white. Now take a straight edge or a piece of um, just paper and go and just spray just like that. The lines don't have to be straight. Once again, this is just spray paint art, uh, but try to get it as clean as possible. As you can see, mine is not perfect by <laughs> any anyone's standards, but it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and just clean up the bottom lines just in case you get some uh, blue that's bleeding through. Now this is what you do for the stars. You take a piece of cardboard or piece of paper and um, you spray inside of it uh, just like that. And then you kind of squeeze it to kind of get some drops going just like that now some drops may be bigger some drops may be smaller it's okay just you know just kind of keep going along just like that um, once again as you can see I mean my dots are not <laughs> even at all but it's okay now uh, after you make the American flag you're gonna uh, spray some uh, red white and blue background for the buildings um, uh, obviously you want to keep it with that uh, that whole um, America theme <laughs> that was stupid. Uh, then spray some uh, dark blue and some black for the sky. Um, sometimes it's a lot better to do that because you know having just a pure black sky is a little bit boring. So, all right, now I'm gonna just gonna make some stars. I didn't have any gloves on. I do recommend wearing gloves because uh, one, it's easier to clean up, but two, you don't want paint on like your fingers constantly. Um, but uh, I don't have any more gloves. So now, uh, what you're gonna do to make twin towers? You just do basic uh, a basic building um, with one building uh, having a line at the top. You want to make sure they're they're even. Um, now to make the freedom tower, you uh, do a building, but you go up to a point and you go back down, and then uh, you put your um, paint scraper in the middle, and then you just twist it to the left or to the right. That creates uh, the the almost like the twist that the building has. So and then you can put whatever building that you want to just to the left of it. Uh, you know, just kind of have fun with it. Um, anyways, you darken out the bottom so you can make the city um, all you do with the city is you just keep going up and down up and down just smearing the paint basically and then uh, that creates like a city spray the bottom and then uh, you make your um, your bridge and on this one uh, I just made two um, straight lines then a small lines connect in the middle and then make sure that uh, you do a straight line going all the way across make sure your paint is uh, or it has clear coat on it because you don't want it to stick it won't the lines won't pop out like it should so you do both of those and then you're gonna do the uh, uh, suspension cables just make zigzags try to make the lines as uh, straight as possible And then you grab your straight edge and then uh, you put it just below the bridge and that's going to create the water. Uh, use your light blue, the same blue that you made for the um, American flag. And then throw a little white in there. Then smear it. Uh, don't push down too hard on the paint. Um, just kind of light smearing it over. And then what I do is I spray black on the outside just to clean up the line. And then I take a, a smaller or a um, paint scraper and then I just spray right there just to give it a little bit more of a um, lights effect. And the painting is basically done at this point. You uh, um, 
turn the paint can upside down if you want to make some shooting stars like I just did. Just push down on it and it will um, create that effect. Uh, for the Statue of Liberty, uh, you just cut out a stencil, spray some white on it so that way it makes it like it's glowing like that. And then what I did a little bit extra was I took a um, um, palette knife and I just went along the side just to give it a little bit more definition. And uh, you sign your name and that's basically it. I really did have fun uh, making this painting. Um, this is one of the paintings that actually sold really well whenever I went uh, downtown where I live. I sold like four or five of these things. Um, people love these because it has its wind towers and uh, Statue of Liberty, American flag, everything. So, uh, but yeah, you'll probably see this painting a lot on YouTube. I just want to show everyone, um, I guess, my version of it and how, how you do it. Uh, but yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for the uh, support, for all the uh, subscriptions. I really do appreciate that. Uh, make sure you uh, obviously like and share this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, uh, that's basically it, guys. Uh, have a great 4th of July weekend. Uh, my name is Gray Spray. Have a good day.